third grade. This is kind of what a it's what a music teacher gets to do when she's hanging around at home and she's a little bit bored. Now that you met three members of the orchestral family, we are ready to bring our instrument family together for a reunion. But we need the last member of that instrument family. And we're going to be doing today percussion. When you guys come to the music room, you love hitting my instruments, but you know that I get upset if you do that. What makes a percussion instrument fit in that family? Well, if you have to hit it or shake it or scrape it, it qualifies to be a member of this family. So here's what I'd like you to do. I want you to check out my video on percussion families, and then after you do that, uh, we'll talk. Check out the video. Since the beginning of time, rhythm has captured the soul of all people. From the very first heartbeat to the last, rhythm governs the way we live. It is a sound that calls us, a feeling that moves us. Rhythm is the backbone of our lives. The very first people who came to this earth felt the rhythm calling them. Perhaps it was first acted out by shaking some rocks, maybe just the simple clapping of hands or stomping of feet. But in that very moment, percussion was born. Throughout time, percussion instruments have changed and developed greatly. All cultures use percussion instruments in many different forms, but no matter where you are, one thing remains the same. Percussion instruments are instruments that you can hit, shake, or rub to create music. There are several kinds of percussion instruments, and many percussion instruments are types of drums, which consist of a membrane stretched across a solid frame or a hollowed out container. Although it may seem strange, for centuries animal skin has been used as a membrane to cover the head of a drum. The skin of an animal was used because it made a good drum, but also because tribes all around the world never wasted any part of an animal they used for food. It is also important to note, however, that synthetic materials have been increasingly more popular in modern drums. All percussion instruments are either tuned or untuned. Tuned instruments can play specific pitches or can play a tune. Untuned instruments make a sound with an indefinite pitch, like the sound of a hand knocking on a door. Examples of tuned percussion instruments include the glockenspiel, the metallophone, the xylophone, hand bells, boom whackers, and the timpani. Here's an example of two gentlemen playing a song on the marimba another tuned instrument. Untuned percussion instruments are also a very important part of the orchestra. Some of these instruments include the gong, the maracas, jingle bells, and the tambourine. Tuned percussion instruments are different than untuned percussion instruments because untuned instruments can't play a melody, but they sure do sound good. Whether by themselves or with an orchestra, there is no doubt percussion instruments are a hit. Now that you've had a chance to watch the video, here's your assignment for this week. If you're like me and you're lucky and you have some instruments that are laying around your house, some percussion instruments, what I'd like you to do is take a picture of you holding your percussion instrument. 
If you don't have any instruments at home, that's okay too. Then here's what I want you to do. I want you to go to YouTube and find a picture of a, of a percussion instrument and um, take your picture and post that up on the Seesaw website. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Have a fun time on your percussion instrument hunt. Bye, everybody.